because it's a chart in our latest. So in 2024, China consumed 140 exajoules of hydrocarbons, coal, gas, and oil, and only produced 111. So they have like a, a 29 exajoule deficit in their hydrocarbon production. By comparison, North America, which is Canada, US, and Mexico, has a surplus of, of 17 exajoules. And, um, and Russia has a surplus of 24 exajoules. The Middle East has a surplus of 42 exajoules. So when you just look at the supply demand scenarios, China has a lot of catching up to do, both in gas and oil, before it closes that gap, and long before it will ever be able to slow down its burning of coal. Anytime we see these crazy stories about how China is going renewable and their days of burning coal are over, it's crazy. As we wrote in a piece um, here recently, China burns an enormous amount of coal to make oil products. That's one of the ways they're trying to close their vulnerability. Um, coal to chemicals is just exploding in China. They expect it to double from here. They're making natural gas from coal. Um, we, we showed in the piece that um, if the plans as described, um, they'll end up producing you know, 1.9 BCF per day of natural gas from coal, which is roughly the size of um, LNG Canada. Uh, and so, you know, of course, China's not going to get off coal. Like, and again, physics dictates um, geopolitics as well. 